Now that we have brought all these files from various sources, imagine a scenario where we want to merge data that's coming from sources, right, and create one kind of a database that then we can run for analytics. Now, this is an example of merging different streams of data, and there are various methods to do this. Now, if you just merge data without any specification, what PDA usually does that it will randomly merge the rows that are coming from different sources. And that's usually the less desirable state because in most cases we would like to have uh, run some analytics. So having this data sorted out before, it will help us, you know, have high performance when we get to our BI tools. Now, one way to do it is to do append. So append is basically when you have the newest source of data being attached to the bottom of your existing data. Let's say we have data set A, data set 2, uh, that will chron chronologically being added to the bottom. Another method to do this is what's known as sorted merge. Sorted merge is when during the process of merging, um, the ETL software will also sort our data based on the column you specify. In this example would be column A. Let's say column A is date or it's customer number, customer ID. So it will basically bring data in, but it will sort it before uh, a storing it next. Right? And this is also one of the most common ways we want to bring data in. Now, when we are bringing data from various sources, it's always it's common that we have some duplicates in our data. Again, our data is usually not as clean as once. For instance, we might have we might have multiple repetitive rows where we have uh, same customer ID um, and similar information. So we want to clean that. We want to get rid of that. Sometimes you might even have the same customer ID, but the other information in the row might be different. So some information might be, for instance, current. There are also some older data too. So what we do is that we go through a process of deduplicating our data. So first we merge, and then we need to deduplicate that data. And an important step in merging is that I was emphasizing in the previous video when we were extracting data is that the metadata for merging a string must be exactly the same. That means the information that we have in terms of the name of the columns, the lens, the type, these should be consistent or we might get an error once we're merging this data set, okay? Now, let's see how this would work. Now, there is a condition to merging, but let's go through this process first and see how it works. First, I'm just going to search for merging. And in this example, let's say we want to sort and then merge. So we go through the sort and merge. Um, I mentioned to you that the metadata might be exactly the same, right? Let me go through an example. For instance, this one, the some of the fields were missing. Now, if we start, if we tell ETL to merge these tables, let's see how that will work. So I'll just say sort and merge. And the second one, sort and merge. So once I do that, we will get an error message that says that the rows are not consistent. For instance, we don't have the same number of rows or might be also the metadata would be different. So what I'm going to do is that, um, and, and that will create an inconsistency, that process will not go through. So what I'm going to do, I have another transformation that I have created and that has full data. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that here and then replace it with this data grid. So I'm just gonna check it again. So I have all of them and it looks like they are consistent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect 
each of these again i see that the name of the field number one is not as the first so that's good so we can check that again so that's customer id um let's see the name of the field for the second file that's customer underscore id right customer underscore name so that's the kind of error we need to pay attention to there was an underscore here too right so again we go through this process we make sure what about the postal code postal code same thing there's an underscore so I'm just going to double check this. And again, you go through this one by one. It might take a little time. But you have to make sure that the type and the length and the name of the columns are all the same for these. So now I don't see um, that error message again. All right. So we go through this. Uh, we check them one by one. And then we connect all of these elements to the sorted merge okay so i went ahead and made sure that the metadata and then the the rows are all consistent so that looks like it's all good it's all fine here now let's go through the process and do this once so i'm just going to run this just to see what happens so it looks like it's went through fine. And if I want to look at the results, one thing you can do is that without even running, you can just preview the results for this stage, which is sorted merge. And if I look at the outcome of that, it looks like it did merge the data, right? So I have data now from all of the locations, but in terms of sorting, Let's say we wanted, for instance, to sort it based on customer ID or customer name. It didn't really sort in any particular format. And it's always best practice to sort the data before actually merging it for the sake of simplicity. So it did sort from each source, but what was not okay was that the data in each of these sources um they were not sorted already okay so what we do is that what we add a, an extra step here i can just simply delete these arrows and what you do is that you can add an extra process to each in order to sort the value that exists in each of these. So what you do is that I can just copy these. Um, so for each of these data set, I will sort the data first and then I will send it to the sort and merge. Okay, so let's connect these. And I'll just connect this here. Okay, so now that I added these, I go through the, each of them one by one. So I have sorting number. Um, and in the first one, I can say the field that I want it to be sorted. So in this case, I want customer ID and I want this to be ascending. And you can ignore the rest. And this basically says the number of maximum rows that's going to be stored in in memory. So if you have more than this number, uh, PDA will first analyze the first, let's say, million rows, and it will merge them, and then we'll go through the rest. So that's how it will work. So you go through this. You basically sort each of these based on the customer ID. Now, this is again one use case if you have a need to sort, for instance, based on other values or additional values, you can simply add them down here. If you want descending, you can do that to the customer ID, sending. Uh, 
and the last one yes okay so now if I go ahead and process this again let's say again we can preview the results here uh, for one of these steps um, let's say for sort one just launch it so once that goes through we see that the data, the data, I mean, this is only two, but now the data is sorted based on two values, right? Um, same thing happens for each of these steps. So it's all going to be sorted before coming into merging. You see, it's all sorted. So now once I run, uh, let's say I run this process, it should work okay again. Should be no errors. So I can look at the results here. Um, preview just to see what we're doing so I should have all the values but now it's as you see it's all merged and also sorted based on so it's it's now e much easier to process this information it's all coming from again different regions now one thing for instance you can check is that you can in this uh, step me uh, metrics you can see that what happened in each of these stages how many rows, for instance, were brought in, like based on each step, or just a step one brought like just two rows, right? The seven one, the text one had 793. So you see that about every step, what happens? So brought in the, in the data, and um, we had the bundle, and then we had sorting occurred. So that's the result of sorting. And you can see again the details of how long it took for the software um, to go through each of these steps. So that's basically how you can merge the values that are coming from these different sources.